What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back in the Iconic Studios. Back with another unboxing, another banger, another review. Before we get started with this unboxing and review, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews on Feats, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and all the exclusive reviews, bruh. Thank y'all for watching. Not gonna waste any time. Let's get into it. Boom, we have it here, a package directly from Nike. Shout out to my boy Juan, man. I believe his IG is Stump Life. What is it? I gotta shout bro out, bro. I gotta shout bro out. Hold on. I gotta go, I gotta shout bro out. Hold on, hold on. Two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. Um, all right. So, his actual IG is Thump Life Fishing Apparel. Y'all make sure y'all go follow that boy, man. Go follow that boy. But for sure, man, shout out to my boy Juan, man, for allowing me to do this review, man. Y'all saw the title, so this is going to be a very, very special review. Um, and hope you're feeling better, bro. I did sanitize this thing two times. Two times. But we're going to have to take out the box, man. We don't need the box. Or well, at least the first one at all. Let's get rid of this. Uh, move that to the side. And boom, we have it here. Yes, sir. Yeah, stop playing on my top, bro. Stop playing on my top. Shout out to my boys, man, to support the support the vision, man. Bro hit these joints on the sneakers out for retail. And you know what bro did? Bro reached out and said, hey, bro, I hate these on retail. I want you to be able to review it. So personally, if I don't touch some, man, I'm still getting my hands on things to make sure to bring my subscribers, my followers, my audience, some content on a legit pair of sneakers and this one here, you see what's going on, man. Y'all see what's going on. I ain't got to say nothing at all. I ain't got to say nothing at all. Look at that. Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at that. No Fugazi, no Fugaga. None of that None of that BS. So let's go ahead and, uh, as you can see, it's a Travis Scott for sure. One thing I love about this whole aspect, y'all, is that they gave us that kind of Jordan 11 feel, just like they did on the um, A Mom and Years, and they gave you... Uh, this kind of like slide out clear uh, boxing. It's not just like the Air Jordan 11s, like that feel like the Air Jordan 11s, but I feel like they're trying to bring that packaging back like the Air Jordan 11s. So all pans, you already see what's going on. That's how it looks. You probably can't see any details right now, but it's Nike, it's like Fragment on there, Fragment Designs, Cactus Jag, you got the Nike Air, you got the, the logo, the mascot, you got the Air Jordan. It's a lot going on on this little pull out thing. And again, I just really like that aspect of it. First, boom, now we actually, actually, actually have the box, the original box uh, underneath the sleeve. You probably can only see those, let's see, there's those accolades on the back of it, like the little logos and mark brand, brand marking right there on the bottom. And the rest of the uh, box itself is more like a cream and um, that fragment blue or maybe like a, uh, I ain't gonna say sport blue, it might be sport blue. Yeah, like a sport blue, uh, Nike, all the way around the shoe. But it's like that OG design, but it got the cream and the blue. I love that aspect of the sneaker itself. So definitely again, man, Nike did their thing with that. Uh, let's go ahead and read the box label, y'all. Box label reads, Air Jordan 1 Low OG SP. Colorway itself, military blue, black, uh, vi viol, uh, nor blue, and military. Uh, retail on the jump was 150. Wow, 150, bro. And the, know that these are reselling for down to 1500. Crazy. And the size on the joint size nine. Again, not my size, not my personal pair. And here is the box label for anybody that's trying to do any legit check, bro. Hopefully y'all can see that. Here's the box label right there. Box label. Flip that up because we don't need that. Underneath, all you have is the uh, the swoosh right there. You got swoosh at the bottom. This is what's going on under the lid, man. I want to make sure y'all see that because I don't know if anybody's trying to do any legit checks, but this is a 100% legit pair from Nike, and we got to make sure that y'all see everything y'all need to see for those who are trying to legit check it. This is my first time seeing it, and you do have this pink paper. Like all the other um, Jordan 1 Travis Scott's, it comes with this top layer of paper. It is pink. It does have Cactus Jack written on it, uh, Jump Jordan on there. Uh, uh, Nike Air, you got the Fragment logo, you got the Air Jordan Wings logo, just all that is on here. 
I'm kind of geeked to see this, man. Let's go ahead and flip it open. That's the first layer. And there is a secondary layer of wax paper. It's not no thin pair, this paper. This is a, a nice thick wax paper. And hold on, I'm gonna give y'all a look first. Ah, man. Boom, we have it here. The Air Jordan 1 Fragment Low Slash Travis Scott. Man, and off rip, bro, I ain't gonna lie, these hot, bro. He's hot. I wish I would have hit for these, bro. I, I, but the, the sticker guys bless me with a first best, so I can't complain. I can't complain. I can't complain. But these are definitely hot, bro. I like the layout. Um, as far as materials, materials are looking like butter, bro. They looking like butter. Yeah, this definitely. That's why I be telling y'all, bro. Jordan Brand be knowing what to put on what. You feel me? Which is terrible, but I guess, like I said, man, it ain't no surprise to me. But yeah, man, this the right shoe right here. You got that fragment on the back. Got that Wings logo right there. Yeah, this shoe hot, bro. This shoe hot. This shoe hot, bro. I'm giving y'all a quick 360. Quick review. You got that. Uh, what is this called? Let's make sure I say it right. We have the military blue on the bottom, bro. That's fire. That's fire right there. Um, again, just giving me that fragment feel. Midsole is all cream. Um, and it definitely has that vintage feel to it. It is not a white midsole. Right here on the inside of the sneaker, it does have some type of um, what they call like wording. So I'll make sure I try to zoom, you know, make sure I focus that on that a little bit. Hopefully y'all can see it, probably not. But yeah, that wording is right there on the side, inside the sneaker. Hopefully y'all can see that. Get to the upper bro. The leather is really, really, really good in my opinion. Um, you do have this uh, black, um, this black toe aspect of the sneaker. You got black around the toe cap, and then you have this white or like creamish, creamish color on the toe box. Same as side panels, you do have another hit of cream. You do have this nice, nice cream, like a, it's like, like a, I don't know, I ain't gonna say vanilla, but I don't know. It, it's a very nice cream like a darker cream color than the one on the side panels. Um, swoosh, leather swoosh. Um, you work your way up the aglets, it's also black. Medial side, you got another black swoosh and leather. Work your way to the heel. Heel has that blue, that military blue with the stamp right there. Hopefully y'all seeing the stamp. Don't forget the stamp, give thanks to the stamp. And then you have that Wings logo right there on the back. Um, get to the tongue aspects, it is that vintage cream uh, cream tongue, nylon tongue. You do have Nike Air right here. You do have your Travis Scott, you have your Travis Scott branding right here on the side panel of the actual tongue. This is the inserts, man. Inserts are pretty straightforward. I wish they would give us some type of, for the price point and everything like that, special shoes should get special inserts, like special shoe trees like the Air Jordan 11s, in my opinion. Um, here is the back end of the sneaker right there. That's for the back tag um, of the uh, tongue. Hopefully y'all can read that and see that. Um, as far as anything dealing with stitching, I'm trying to be careful. Yeah, it's coming up pretty good, so I ain't gotta worry about one killing me later. Hold on. Underneath, go ahead and show y'all what's going on underneath for those who need to do any legit checks. This is what's going on. This is how the stitching looks right here. It is taped down with uh, that royal, royal, that military blue, uh, uh, what is that called? It's like that min military blue stitching, and then you have that cream stitching. It is taped down right here. That's the tag right there, y'all. Dates and everything like that. This was produced between January 1st, 2021 and March 17, 2021. Uh, tag is DM7866-140. Again, this is how the inner lining of that looks. How that inner lining of that looks as far as like stitching wise. Same thing on this side. Same kind of inner line of stitching. Just to kind of show y'all what's going on. You do have that military blue guts. Um, and yeah, man, as you can see, man, very, very, very fire shoe. It does come with some wax laces and they are like this creamish color, which I think is fire. Um, and then left shoe, it does come like this. Same exact thing. It does come with black laces. A pink lace and a blue lace, a military blue lace. And all these colors work in this sneaker, just to be completely honest. Um, they didn't go like the SB round, give you those like fat laces. 
those like thick string laces like they would do for like they did for the first ones but like again same aspect same writing on this inside of the sneaker again i don't know if you're able to see that but that's what's written right there that's what's written right there and again man same aspect of the sneaker except on the back you have that travis scott layout right there now the biggest discussion of it all, y'all, is it worth the resale, right? Got that Travis Scott right there. You got the Wings logo. You got your fragment. You got your Travis Scott smile face there, fragment right there. Um, is it worth the 1500 Is it worth 1500 Is it worth 1500 That is the question. Is it worth 1500 Is it worth 1500 y'all? That's the question of the day, right? In my opinion, um... In my opinion, if I had to be real, right? If I had the funds to buy this, I would buy it. You feel me? If I had the funds, I have the funds, but I'm personally not kicking out resale for shoes like this right now. I would trade, but you know, that's a whole nother story. But I definitely think if you have the money to splurge, buy this shoe. I definitely feel like because it's already showing that this uh, shoe is, the high has did what it did. I'm sure the low is gonna do what it's gonna do. As you can see from the low of the OG, the brown joint, that one's at 1600 bro. So um, I'm pretty sure this might double just because of that fragment label. So um, I would say definitely cop it, man. But if you got the bread, if not, just pass on it, bro. We, you lit a fight another day, bro. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. But again, man, I thank y'all for coming through, showing the support, showing the love. I had to bring y'all a review of the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Low slash Fragment definitely 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 a hot shoe if i had the money or i hit for retail i would definitely be keeping um i know the question lately for a lot of people is do i buy do i buy across the water do i buy the ua no don't buy the ua just go to the next shoe thank y'all for watching man before y'all go y'all make sure y'all hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you stay in tune with the reviews on home feast the sneaker vlog and the sneaker news and everything else that comes with the channel thank y'all for watching man future belongs to those who prepare today till tomorrow y'all peace perfect